A great personalities are shaped with great experiences. I am honored and feel privileged to welcome Dr. L. Sarumati, principal from Maharishi International Residential School, Kanchipuram District, Tamil Nadu. Welcome, ma'am. Today, on behalf of Teachers Integro and Teachers Club of India, we have Dr. L. Sarumati, madam, who has more than 10 years of experience in the field of education as a principal and received many awards and rewards. So today we are here to find out few facts and challenges and also to share our views that we have faced during the COVID-19, which has left its imprints on the walls of life and education is no exception. How did you manage to maintain your integrity as a principal to meet the demands from the students, parents, teachers, and the management during this transition period? Uh, really, COVID-19 did not leave even the field of education. We had a lot of challenges. Uh, satisfying the needs of the parents, students, and following the policies given by the management all together. It was really a Himalayan task for the principals, not only for me, but for all the principals. And the transition, again, from offline to online was really a challenging one. But uh, we made the people understand and we kept them engaged. And uh, we just, you know, one thing, we uh, made them understand that the children should not lose their learning that is what the motto behind all this so we were able to convince the parents and uh, the online classes also was successful and the transition was uh, we were able to face that transition period easily ma'am could you specifically tell one or two incidents that needed your expertise and intervention during this period yeah uh, see all the way we should be very careful you know when we present something to the uh, audience see uh, especially the parents will be watching all the grandparents see more than the students you know the grandparents and parents will be sitting and watching our classes so we took a lot of care we uh, went through the ppts i mean before it was presented to the the students and also uh, we provided we wanted the children to be engaged and we wanted children to be aware of what's happening around them so we circulated uh, uh, library books through e library and we kept them engaged and we also conducted a lot of competitions and uh, the nurses day mothers day all those events were also uh, conducted and the e certificates were awarded and this is how uh, you know the principal took little care and uh, just we were uh, uh, i was very much careful that the children uh, spend their time usefully and uh, that uh, also in an informative manner that's really great ma'am so as a principal, what is your vision for meeting the hybrid learning system? How is your school prepared for handling this demand? See, our uh, vision is uh, not to stop the learning process. This is what uh, we uh, focused on. So we uh, just uh, whenever the children were uh, uh, you know, able to come through online, we were just uh, satisfying the needs of the students. And even through the offline, you know, we were uh, helping the children, guiding the children. And uh, when the school started for the higher classes, for classes 9 to 12, and uh, some of the students were not able to join the classes through using the interactive digital board, we were just giving them the classes through online and uh, offline simultaneously. And uh, this is how we were able to bridge the gap and uh, both online and offline classes together. And uh, that is how we satisfied the parents as well as the students. And the need was fulfilled. That's great, ma'am. Uh, what types of innovative upskilling training programs may be required for the teaching and non-teaching staff in your institution? Yeah, the transition, you know, from on offline to online, and the teachers had to learn a lot. And we became students, especially, you know, we know only my, the names of like Microsoft, Excel, and all those. More than that, we have to learn how to take classes through online. So how to use these Microsoft Teams app and uh, Zoom app and Google Meet and all. So trainings were given to the teachers. And not only that, the, even the exams were conducted through online. And so the teachers should know how to prepare the Google Sheet or Google Form, all those, and how to send the, upload the questions and how to upload the marks to the parents through online. These trainings were given to the teachers. Not only that, even in the in admin staff were also given, accounts and admin staff were also trained to handle the admission process through online and how to collect the fees uh, from the parents through online. We taught to the account uh, department people. So everything during the COVID time, 
uh, all uh, these you know helped a lot and these trainings uh, how to meet people through online is a training given to the people so that's really great ma'am uh, we want to know your views on NEP, that is new educational policy, and what impact will it make on the student's career or nation building? That's uh, no child will be left unlettered. You know, this policy, this is the policy that I liked it very much. And uh, the four-year pattern also attracted me a lot. And uh, I feel that the student, uh, uh, the NEP will help the student to be future ready with 21st uh, century skills. And also, a you know, lot of focus will be on the skill uh, development, and that will help them to be uh, very competent, and uh, that will increase their competency level. And the students will have an opportunity not only to focus on the academics, but also in non-academics. Really, it will help the children in their future. So, looking forward, ma'am, for the NEP. So, moving on, can you give a one-line message to the students and similar message to the teachers? Yes. For uh, teachers, I would like to say deserve and then desire. And then for the students, like uh, this is a deserve and then desire is a famous quote of Marishi Ji. And I wanted teachers to, uh, I mean, deserve and then desire. And uh, the students, uh, Swami Vekananda says, arise, awake, and uh, stop not till your goal is reached. This is what I would like to pass on to the students. This is the message I would like to share with the teachers and the students. Thank you, ma'am. Moving on, given that Teachers Integro is all about teachers caring for their career and family, would you recommend certain features that we need to work on in the coming days? Would you recommend this Teachers Club to your staff? Yeah, definitely I will recommend this because it's all about teachers. And, uh, you know, teachers also need a forum to express their views and even the students. Uh, so it's a very good uh, initiative taken. And uh, really, uh, I'm very happy and I'll recommend this to the teachers. I feel that even uh, only through you, I came to know about this uh, forum. And uh, so it should be made known to all. This is what I would like to recommend. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your input. It's really a pleasure having you on Integro, that is the Teachers Club of India. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the opportunity given to me. Thank you.